the wait is over, and after ten weeks, it's the final. I'm genuinely excited about being in the final. There, I said it. This is the night that we've all been waiting for. It would be amazing to walk out those doors as a winner. Everyone wants to win. It's going to sort of justify and conclude everything that's happening. To be able to walk away and say I was Big Brother 2014 winner, that's a massive achievement. Tonight we crown your champion. Will it be Ash, Ashley, Chris, Christopher, Helen or Pav who wins Big Brother 2014? You decide. the live final of Big Brother! Please welcome your host, Emma Willis! of love, laughter, bitching and bonking. Six housemates have fought off the competition to make it all the way to tonight's final. Now tonight one of them will be crowned the winner of Big Brother 2014 and as well as taking home the title, they'll also be taking home a bag full of cash. £100,000 to be precise. So this is it. Who deserves to walk out of those doors victorious. It is, as ever, entirely down to you. From a landline, call 090 204458 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 65058 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Ash to win, add 01. For Ashley to win, add 02. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 50p, other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in tonight's live final. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus 1, Plus 24 or on demand. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Lines will be freezing in one minute, so don't hang about. Now, we have got a massive night ahead of us, and guess who's here? All the ex-housemates for the party. <laughs> OK, so it's not going to be long until the first person walks out of that door. But before we uh, hashtag open it, it's time for the final instalment from the house. Are the housemates still smoking the peace pipe? Probably not, I've heard they've run out of backy. Dear 71, 7, 11 p.m. Oh my God, that looks gorgeous. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Big Brother has laid on a final dinner for the housemates. My journey has been one of the most challenging and exciting uh, things I've ever had to deal with, Christopher. You were just there for me. You didn't mean to, you didn't have to be. Uh, and, and I really, really appreciate that about you. And I wouldn't have been able to be here categorically without you. And I'm proud of everyone. So cheers. Cheers, Pat. Cheers, Pat. Cheers. I guess ultimately, 
After everything, I do feel two things uh, to be here tonight, and that is both proud and yet humbled by it. It's been awesome. You do learn things about yourself in here, and but I, I don't know if I'll ever truly appreciate how awesome this experience is until I um, go away and take it all in. But I just feel ultimately thankful that I have this summer to look back on, and I hope to treasure it, and I hope it still means as much to me in 10 years as it does now. Aww. So, Aww. so to everybody. Uh, it's Christmas. <laughs> Helen, I'm glad we sorted things out and I hope that's going to be the same when we leave. And I hope when we get out of here and you watch the things that I said and I watch the things you said and <laughs> we can laugh about it the same way me and Ash laugh about uh, me trying to boot him out in week five. <laughs> so, um... I'm still glad you didn't go because since then I realised that you're probably the best big brother anybody could have. As for you two, you mean so much to me and if it wasn't for the two of you, I wouldn't have had the experience I've had and I'm so happy to have made two friends like you. So, thanks to you five. Yeah, that's true. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The one thing I can say hand on heart, um, as much as I don't want to say it, um, I do actually have a little bit of love for every one of you. <laughs> Actual love. Um, and um, I'm hugely, hugely proud to be your friend, Helen. Like you, you have no idea. Ashley, I just love everything about you. I think you're the best. And I really, really do want to share my life with you. And, you know, every big experience in your life, I want to be part of, if I can even from a distance. So cheers. And cheers to you all. Wow. This is not a Big Brother house, this is a home. Aww. Aww. Cheers. cheers. Ashley, you had a few shit weeks, so what? You bounced back from that and you did make an effort with everybody in the house, despite our differences, everybody else. You know, you've been absolutely perfect with and everyone respects your friendship, including me. I know I don't show it all the time, but I do. Um, and Ash, the days when I've been struggling to kind of understand why people are the way they are and they're probably thinking, no, she's the weird one. And um, Ash kind of brought it all home to me and just thought, just chill out, what the hell are you worrying for all the time? I would like to say thank you so much for being like the best friend that I could have wished for throughout this process. So, thank you. Cheers. 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 I came in, I wanted to have the best time in my life and I've enjoyed every single day. Can I keep this short? <laughs> um, it's all down to everyone. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, it's been the time of my life, and um, cheers to that. Thank you. Cheers. 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 It is usually humbling. Humbling to be here 70 days in when you never expected in a million years you'd last so long in here and you feel so happy, you feel this real sense of achievement. I'd like to be remembered as the person who came in at the most difficult time um, and triumphed and made it through to the final. I hope I'm remembered for nice reasons. <laughs> I am really sad to go. <laughs> I can talk about it all I want and big it up all I like, but I can never come back and it will only live now really in my memory. This 10 weeks has clarified everything in life that is important to me and I can't wait to get out and just it was fine when I came in, but I'm going out and I'm making everything even better. 
And that would never have happened if it wasn't for this. Ever. Ever. Being part of Big Brother was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I didn't expect it to deliver what it's delivered and change my life how it has. But all good things have to come to an end. This is Big Brother. Good night, housemates. Good night. Good night. Good night. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>
or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in tonight's live final. Votes cast after lines closed won't count. Please don't try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus 1, Plus 24 or On Demand. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Welcome back to Big Brother, the live final. Ash, Ashley, Christopher and Helen are still in the running to be crowned Big Brother champion. We're going to be freezing the lines again in five minutes. So get cracking if you want to have your say. Uh, right, we've got two brand new finalists to chat to. It's Pam and Chris! Yeah! Um, okay, we're going to try and talk to you individually, but mix it up a little bit. Yeah. But Pam, we're going to start with you because you came in sixth place. Okay. Um, you came in... It's going to be hard to hear. Um, you came in on day 40. You didn't think you'd make it to the final, and you did. I'm so surprised. I really am surprised. Uh, I'm so overwhelmed with the amount of people that are here. Uh, I was in the diary room a few days ago just saying, I please, I just want two people there. I was like, I don't, I, don't want, I don't care about anyone else, just make sure there's at least two people there. And I've come out and I've got so many family and friends and I'm just really overwhelmed, I'm so shocked. I've got to be honest, the <coughs> path we've seen in the house seems like a very different path to the one that just walked out of those doors. <laughs> um, I mean, you were bonkers just then. My family and my friends are absolutely everything to me. Uh, um, uh, and, and my letter from my aunt was one of the biggest changing points in, in yeah. my, in my uh, experience. But coming out there today, I realised how much people I have behind me and that with those people, it doesn't matter whether I come sixth or first, I'm going to succeed with that support group. Now, initially, when you went into the house, everybody <coughs> was suspicious of you. Yep. Um, how do you think he won them over? Obviously, in your VT, you said you have a psychology degree. I did, You yeah. can make people come into your way of thinking. Yeah. So did that plan finally work, or did, that, did you have to sack that off? I, I Look very... Look at Chris looking yeah. suspicious still. Chris was one of the most suspicious people. Uh, I very, very quickly learned that, you know, that that was not going to serve me and that I needed to create friendships and real relationships in the house. Uh, and uh, I regret what I said in my VT, but I take full responsibility for it. Um, well. Yeah, so it, it's just, uh, I, I just stay true to myself. Uh, I just tried to be myself and push through every obstacle that I was given. So how did it <coughs> feel when we had the fake eviction the other day and Christopher and Ash, who are both very good friends of Chris, yeah. decided to save you over him? It, it was one of my uh, favourite moments in the house, uh, although it was bittersweet because I, I feel that I was very close to Chris. Um, it was when I finally realised that uh, I was accepted and seen as an equal and, and a housemate in, in, uh, in his own right. <coughs> and how was that for you, Chris? Because obviously you were really good mates with Ash and Christopher was one of your best friends. And I know you said there are no hard feelings, I totally understand. But deep down, were you just a little bit irked? No. Really? At all, promise. Because Pav was, you know, he was the one person for you. He, um... <laughs> you did say Basically. you've got no time to make friends with him. Yeah, that was all true. That's 100% all true. I felt like that. That's exactly how I felt. And I felt like it for a little while. And I was really regretful when basically Pav wasn't remotely who I thought he might have been. Mm. And for that to happen, yeah, I didn't really want to go. But I didn't, I, Christopher particularly, I trust his judgment implicitly. Right. It wasn't an easy decision for either of them and it did mean the world to have as well. So I, I, I've gone so much further in this than I ever thought I would and mm. I didn't feel deserving of anything. You've I done very brilliantly, happy. both of you. Thank you. Um, one thing um, that I loved about your time in the house uh, was, was your time in the diary room. Um, yeah. uh, you, you were a brilliant narrator. You seemed to a lot of the time say what I think a lot of viewers were thinking and your, okay. your, your views on housemates, um, they, they were really um, full. <laughs> they were really full. Did you use that as a safe haven? Yes, 100%. You obviously don't like confrontation, nope. we know that. <clears throat> no, nope. I literally was just speaking my thoughts. That was what it was. It was a complete comfort. It was, I just got to purge everything I thought so I didn't have to have you know, confrontations in the house. It's the worst place to have a confrontation. And we've seen a lot of them this summer. Yeah. So avoiding them was 
probably a good thing yes. to do. It was just preservation. Um, the past week or so, though, it's kind of bitten you in the bum, hasn't it? Because people have thought <laughs> you're kind of one person in the diary room yeah. and one person in the house. Yes. Yeah. So how do you begin to explain that to a bunch of people who are quite judgmental? Well, quite literally, <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind and my opinions change and it's just, it is an honest thing. It may seem very two-faced. <laughs> Honesty is everything. I may not say it to the face, but I need to have respect. Yeah. In Absolutely. I, I, I have a big thing. I think it's brilliant when people say, I'll just tell you to your face. Mm. But there is a time and a place yeah. and a way of saying things yeah. to somebody's face. Yeah. And sometimes just keep it to yourself or share it with a diary room. Yeah. Um, your journey uh, was not smooth, no. to say the least. Ruffled. Um, how have you found it? You've, you've had a lot of ups and downs in there. Yeah, well, I expected to be there for a fortnight, perhaps, mm -hmm. if I was lucky. And it just kept going. And I got kind of just, I just became part of the furniture and I didn't mentally pack for that length of time. So no, I found it incredibly challenging, quite unpleasant. And I probably shouldn't have entered the game because I don't like games. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but you so. were brilliant. Um, Thank um, you. A, a, a lot of your ups and downs, or quite a few of them, were to do with Helen. Your friendship mm. with, with her was yes. um, uh, uh, fraught at times and, yes. and gorgeous at yeah, times. Yeah. Um, how? How do you feel about her now? We obviously saw everything that happened when she heard the two of you talking in the kitchen the other night. Mm. We obviously saw that you weren't yeah. saying anything bad about her, but she yeah. obviously heard yeah, unfortunately, what I she thought was negative present. when it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the thing is with Helen, you can't live with her. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I, I, I really genuinely do love Helen. I've just, and that's why, it's, I think it's because I actually kind of cared because I saw a sensitive side of her really early on yeah. and it drove me nuts that she just kept undoing everything and she will always drive me nuts. But you did seem to seek her approval at times. Yes. I, can't, I want her to like me and respect me because I actually do like her yeah. um, and because when she didn't, when she just kind of threw me away, it drove me mad and, and uh, yeah, but I feel like I can talk to her, um, just don't always want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody you did always want to talk to though is Ashley. Ashley. Oh! <laughs> bonds come from do you think? I don't really know where it started but I do remember there was a conversation when everyone was going around about saying what do you believe in? I believe in this, I believe in that, I believe in Buddha, I believe in God and she, she just sat there and just went I'm an atheist <laughs> and I, I thought I wasn't gonna say that yeah. and she said that and I remember her saying that early on thinking I'm gonna like her I don't know where it all began but I, she's my best friend in that house her and Christopher she's just she's just hilarious and super smart super super smart she is uh, you know i know a lot of people say she's only 18 yeah but at times she has acted like the most yeah. mature person in there totally. at times she's acted like the youngest as well but yeah, absolutely um, but you know she's been very good yeah. and, and it's a lovely friendship to watch a, yeah um you've both been brilliant and played thank great you. parts in the house so thank you so much for taking part this summer uh, pav let's start with you here are your best bits thank you very much <laughs> Welcome to the Big Brother house. Yay! How are you enjoying the Big Brother house? I'm enjoying myself very well. I think you've come in with a bit of a bang. Give me the power. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob the Bungalow Penguin. Give Helen a lap dance, do it. You <laughs> must all go and sit on the naughty step. <laughs> Just a little too shifty. Yeah, but who would nominate Ash and Stephen? Is it you? No, it's not. <laughs> I think you are a very intelligent, manipulative, devious person, and I wouldn't be able to trust you ever. Helen and Stephen are being really cold with me right now. It's only fair, but you just tell me what you said. I don't want to have to say it again, Pav. When you three came in, I didn't want any of you to win the, win the 100 grand. I've never been around so many people and felt so alone in my life. <laughs> There's just a complete element of distrust. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! For fuck's sake, Pam. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be your dirty sandwich. I can't see out of my eyes. I like Pav a lot. He's a really, really a nice guy. One, two. Pav is a little bit. Gotta be doing something, playing ball games, having fun. Everyone can't do this. Pav, you're a cock. Thank you. In Big Brother, man, this is sick. Being in the Big Brother house has been an amazing experience. I've experienced the highs, the lows, and I'm really grateful to have been here. Yeah. Ah. Well, this 
is actually happening. I do keep seeing my reflection in the mirror thinking, you miserable old bastard. I'm a nice guy. I'd rather be good while I'm here than average for 10 weeks. But the problem is, <clears throat> I just find everyone so boring. <laughs> It's all going mad down there. You really are, like, the big thing for me here. Yeah. I mean, like, I want to be your mate, like, yeah. forever. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got to stop looking at Ashley, man. Why did you tell Pav that he's been staring at Ashley when everyone knows that it's you that fancies her? I have almost entirely lost perspective in here now. Fuck you. How's You're a nasty something? drunk. Fuck you. I'm not trying to act like Mother Teresa. That's really rude. Because everyone else was saying we'd split it equally. I've said it a hundred times. You never had the balls to search with everyone else. This whole journey has been in vain. <laughs> oh, what am I laughing at? This is going to be fucking shit. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an adult movie. <laughs> Chris and I kind of go on like an old married couple. We just kind of sit there gossiping. <laughs> I've not been warned once for any bad behaviour. How would you describe your cocktail? A cheeky little number. He's a good person to be around. It's been a long road being here, but I wouldn't change any of it now for the world. Go and see your friends and family. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> to go. You ready for the next one? Of course you are. It's time to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Emma. Ash. Ashley. Your fate is sealed. For the last seven days, the British public have been voting for their winner. I can now reveal the housemate in fourth place is... Ash, it's time to leave the Big Brother house. Please say your goodbyes. Oh, shit. Gee, come on, sorry. Ash, please leave the Big Brother house. You have been evicted. Good luck, guys. Fuck. Helen to win, Addo six. Here's Marcus. 
Mobile and BT Landline votes cost 50p. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in tonight's live final. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus 1, Plus 24 or on demand. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Who comes out on top is entirely down to you. Voting will freeze again in just over three minutes. So get a little wriggle on if you want to vote. Uh, right, we've got a new finalist to chat to. It's Anne. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Fourth place. Yeah. How does it feel? Brilliant. Uh, I'd probably rather be first, but <laughs> I'll take fourth all yeah. day. Oh, I've had a great time here. Um, just to be. You had a really final. nice reception as well. Yeah, I loved it. Everybody was was uh, everybody was very kind, and you look yeah. quite chuffed with everything. So that's oh, good, even though you didn't come first. Yeah. Um, did you ever think, way back in the beginning, that you would be sat here in the final tonight? No. Um, like at first, I thought I was doing all right, and then I had a couple of arguments. Then I got loads of booths for like four weeks, yeah. and I kept going up for nomination. Yeah. So I was good. Um, and then I didn't go up one week, and then I went up the next week and got cheered, so yeah. I thought I'm back in the mix. There was a lot of chat, obviously, in the beginning about guilt by association. Yeah, uh, People all the time. thinking that's why you were up, because of Helen. Yeah. Um, her friends kind of started disappearing yeah. one by one. Did you think you would be next on the list? Um, I didn't really think of it like that. I just thought, like, I could be mates with who I want, really. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with anyone else, like... Her decisions doesn't reflect my decisions, or yeah. her views don't reflect my views. You know what I mean? So I thought it was a bit ridiculous, but not well, really. you were I mates. Really you were mates with with pretty much everybody in the house. Yeah. But you were very good mates with Helen. Yeah, yeah, she's a good pal of mine. Yeah. Should we have a look at you and Helen together? Jesus, no, I knew yes. this was going to happen. Let's have a look. <laughs> Ash, could you now reveal who you think is the housemate with the most sex appeal? Helen. <laughs> You're feeling to spoon this guy. For fuck's sake! Is there something going on between Ash and Helen? He did, he bastards. Oh, my God, I know oh. yours and kids, but yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Not yet, what? We only friends. We don't like each other. You got it tonight, that you're not sharing a bedroom with me. You come and wake me up with a blow or something. <laughs> if it was in different beds, it'd never happen. I reckon you two are going to be banging as well. Or we'll just be friends. We benefits. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not that easy, you know what I mean? If you kiss someone, it looks like you like someone. Should we just shag tonight? Yeah. Front of everyone. <laughs> just show everyone off. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, why did you get on with us so well? Um, I don't really know. She's just a, she's just an awesome girl. She's just great to go with. Just a proper laugh. Just up for a laugh. All you you did seem like great mates, so you seemed to kind of yeah. understand each other really, really yeah. well. Um, you said quite a few times you didn't fancy her, but we saw you snog quite a lot. Quite so a lot. So surely you, you... A couple of times. I mean, it's just because, well, yeah. Do you, do you fancy bit. her? No, I don't fancy Like, we just, we just really get on, and then, like, just at night we ended up sharing a bed because we was... Everyone had to swap round because we wanted Kim and Steve to share a bed. So it just made more sense for her to be in my bed instead of... In with Marlon and Winston, and then we just ended up kissing a couple of times. But... So you don't think anything will happen in the future? Oh no, we'll just be dead good mates. Okay. Um, she she did have a fair share of arguments in the house. Yes. Yeah, um, you managed to keep out of them. I mean, we yeah. saw you flip a couple of times in the beginning when you weren't yeah. too happy with things, but you did seem to have quite a calming influence on yeah. her. Uh, she did have a lot of arguments. H yeah. How did you manage to keep out of them when you were so close to someone? Just because I know her personality, she just flies off the handle, doesn't she? She's off her head. But she's brilliant. I mean, um, 
I don't know. I just like it's not my argument to be in, is it? And when people are slagging her off, she can just hold her own. So mm. I don't need to stick up for her. There's only the time when Matthew was slagging her off when she walked off and she was in the other room. I wasn't happy with it, but that's about it. Did you, did you agree with her all of the time on, no. on her disputes? Sometimes, like some of the arguments she had, she's probably in the wrong, but it's one of them. But like I say, it didn't really have anything to do with me, so I just thought I'd stay out of it. Just let it get on with it. Um, so from from your lad, uh, from your female mates to your lads' mates, yeah. Stephen and Winston. Oh my boys. Um, I've I've got to say, in in a house that's been quite controversial and there's been a lot of turmoil, it was yeah. light relief to see. Hashtag lad banter happening yeah. and, and lad fun. Um, uh, what did you like about the two of them? Um, just amazing characters. Winston's Can awesome. Can you see him? There you go. Yes, the boys! <laughs> <laughs> Winston's just like unbelievable. I love him. And then Steve, honestly, no one's made me laugh that much in my entire life. He's the funniest guy, especially when he cracked up. That was the best, ta best time of my life. Just shaving his head off and like wearing crusts as bracelets and stuff. It yeah, was weird. He, he did go slightly bonkers. Yeah, he lost it. Um, he was we, we've seen a very laddie side to you, but we've also yeah. seen quite an emotional side oh, to no, you. I don't. Um, me and, and I think that has really helped with the second part of your experience in yeah. there because we've, we, you know, you, you're a very attractive guy who's a bit of a lad, but yeah. then we saw you cry and found out you were a mummy's boy, and and that was really nice, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, do oh, you have any regrets? Um. Not one regret. I enjoyed every single day of it. Like, every, a lot of people had down days, and I never had one single down day. Good. I was just happy every single day. Would you so like to I'm... see some of your happy times? Hit me with it. Here's I can't your wait. Bits. Thank you. It's Ash. Oh, here I think Ash is amazing for somebody from Manchester. I can't wait till I get you on. Big growing lads, we you need your food. Oh, what delight from the possible indifference. Is there something going on between Ash and Helen? If she went for it, he'd go for yeah. it. She won't get married. Yeah. Only because you know I'm fucking awesome. No, I'd marry you because you could be my bitch. People's negativity makes me negative. <laughs> Oh, absolutely not fantastic. Oh, I'm not going to explain yeah. myself you. Did you just say calm down? You're not calling me a prick. Fuck down like that. Charlie. Calm down, Ash. Oh, fuck off, maggot. You're the only one that stashed a bottle. Ash, what are you being like that for? You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> I can't believe I'm crying. <laughs> I think I'm a nice guy. I tried yours and it cut me. You bollocks. tried to cut your bollocks in my shaver? Yeah. Are you fucking joking, Ash? <laughs> Proper lad, smash about the whole thing. Smashed it. I mean, I really do almost think he thinks this is real life. I want to be bond. <laughs> Nailed the Zoe. Just touch it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm Amazing. talking about. I've well enjoyed my time with Big Brother. I've met some genuinely nice, funny people. I've basically enjoyed every single day. Living in Big Brother's house, it's been absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've ever met a more laid-back individual in my life. Um, OK, it's time to crank things up at you. Whose wheels are about to fall off? It's time to talk to the house. Big Brother House, this is Emma. Ashley. Christopher. Helen. The viewers have spoken. Your fate is sealed. Oh. For the last seven days, the British public have been voting for their winner. I can now reveal the housemate in third place is... Christopher. Congratulations. 
Come here. Congratulations. Christopher, <laughs> it's time to leave the Big Brother house. Please say your goodbyes. Oh, my God. Christopher, Congratulations, please girl. leave the you Big Brother you house. Soon. You have been evicted. Good luck, Christopher. See you soon. Love you too. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. BT Landline Vote cost 50p. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in tonight's live final. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus 1, Plus 24 or on demand. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Two for the first time ever in Big Brother <laughs> And I have to tell you, it's absolutely neck and neck between the two of them. Um, Ashley and oh, Helen Ashley. are in a fight to the finish. Who would have thought it? Lines close for the final time in three minutes. So if you want to vote for your winner, you need to get a move on. i uh, got to say congratulations to our third place, Christopher! <laughs> I know, I'm so You've happy. You've got him bronze, even. I know. How are you feeling? You had a lovely reception. I know, amazing. You reached the final. You came in third place. I know. Last boy standing. I know, I love it. It's all good. When you put it like that, nothing to complain about, really. It's all good, isn't it? OK. Uh, maybe you'll complain about your time in the house a bit, because... Fuck. <laughs> not that we want you to. Um, but you haven't had an easy ride in there, have you? Um, what, what has it been like living in there? Because at times it's been quite difficult to watch. Not you, yeah. necessarily, but the environment. Yeah, I find it like a really tense house. Like everyone's constantly like speculating all the time. We always thought Big Brother was up to something, and we normally was. Uh, but it was always in our intent to hooks, wondering what was next around the corner. We talk about that all the time. We're like, what's what's going to happen next? Yeah. It's quite tense. It's quite argumentative. There's a lot of real feisty big characters in there. No one was really that placid or laid back. Everyone yeah. was really full on. Do you think it would have been as argumentative of a house if there wasn't so much paranoia? Would it still have been? Probably. I think those kind of characters in there, everyone's just very full on and very strong minded people. I think that's yeah. really what distinguished this year's house from others. Um, everyone was so big. What we've seen from you, um, especially in the second half of the series, is you are, you're definitely not afraid to stand up for yourself. <laughs> and you're not afraid to stand up for other people as well if you believe mm -hmm. that they're being mistreated mm -hmm. or if somebody you know, is in the wrong against them. Thank um, you. Um, how, how frustrating was that at times? Because it did look like sometimes you were kind of just spoken over 
Yeah, there's just a lot of really loud people in there, but one thing I can do is sit back and listen, and I felt that people in the house could have benefited from doing that a little bit more at times. Mm. Everyone was very quick to vocalise an opinion or to make a decision like that. As soon as something happened, that person was a bastard or there was something wrong with that person. And yeah. I would never do that. I would sit back and think a little bit more yeah. about it before I'd ever storm in raging like that. Yeah. And that's what really fr frustrated me at times about it. So people are there. acting before they're thinking? Yeah, very often. OK. Um, uh, there was one particular person in the house um, that... Oh, look, there he is. He had a lovely, <laughs> lovely friendship with. <laughs> and that is Mark. Oh, yeah? He's very up and down. Let's have a look at the TV. <laughs> I could cry. I could cry that Mark's gone hand on heart. He's only spoke me out half a moment ago. Can't can't cope. Mary's Larry again. Fucking gutted that he's gone right now. I think it takes a lot for Mark to like something. Who do I love? Me. Oh yeah, Mark head over heels. I've got so many mixed emotions about that boy. Seriously. You are dragging Christopher along like a toy. I don't feel as though I'm dragged around by you. It's just quite infuriating. He's Sorry. took it and he's twisted oh. it. You've got trust issues. The same old chestnut that comes out all the time. You the time cheeky sometimes bastard, you've just got to trust Beth. people. I'm told by Mark I'm very ugly when I cry, so I'm really trying not to. You, um, you seem to have really Hi. missed him. Huh? You seem to have really missed him this week. Yeah, I did. Um, how, how important was he to your time in the house? It was amazing. Like, he's one of a kind. When else have you ever met anybody like Mark? He doesn't exist. He's just one of a kind. Uh, he's one of a kind in a, in a friendship way or, or in a... It is what it is with in me In a more than friendship way. It just is what it is with me and Mark. It's just kind of like, I'd rather have him as a mate but, and just have him in my life than just if we're continuing to fight all the time. Sometimes it felt like we brought out the worst in each other. Yeah, you did bicker, like an old yeah, married couple. It happened. Um, there was also the moment um, during the task when uh, you heard that the public thought that Matt treated you, uh, Matt, Mark treated you a little bit... Uh, <laughs> Freudian slips. Uh, treated you a little bit like um, a doormat. How God. did that affect your time in the house? Because do, a lot of people said in the house, your housemates, mm -hmm. that you seemed to change your personality a little bit and you seemed to get more vocal during that point. Yeah, it wasn't like a conscious decision just to say, right, now I'm going to start arguing all the time. It was just me thinking, maybe I haven't stood up for myself enough mm. and maybe I'm different to the person who came in through the doors. I thought I was always someone who was opinionated and could speak their mind. And yeah. I thought, have I been like that here? Mm. And it just made Did me speak Did you feel like you, you wanted then to, to show people and probably people watching that that is not how um, you are or what you're like? I guess, but more so than that, I just really wanted to just be a little bit more upfront with my housemates as well. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about him now? He's still awesome. He's still awesome. Yeah. I'll see him afterwards, maybe. Good. Um, what will you take from your experience in the house? Um, just, it's crazy. You just meet a million and one people from a million and one walks of life. You'll never meet again. And I just want to treasure everything from there. I, I've never eaten as much shit in my life. It was revolting. <laughs> um, my stomach lining is in shreds right now. So just a million and one really happy memories and a lot of friends in there as well, like Chris, Ashley, Mark, everybody. It's just awesome. Uh, Christopher, thank you so much. You are very thank deserving you. of your place in the Thank you. I'm here to be interrogated and to open up. He's irritating and enchanting. He's probably been through the, the biggest journey. That's bad grammar. That's really bad grammar. <laughs> it was potent, flavorful, enigmatic. He's like some, like, human Wikipedia. It's called linguistic something, and I can't remember the end bit of it. Unless you've kind of dropped yourself into a particular clique. You're, you're seen as being boring. You're so boring. <laughs> don't talk and don't shout Don't you fucking me. point your finger don't at me and tell me what to do. So I'm talked over constantly. Uh, I find that yeah. be like... They don't want to hear what he has to say. And as usual, everyone spoke over him. It's been the same from day one. <laughs> <laughs> We're back, bitches. He's intelligent, he's confident, he's smart. He's a great guy. Aww. Huh? I was underestimating your power, big brother. Oh, that's really nice. Everybody kind of needs a Christopher. Helen, what have you done? My experience in the Big Brother house has been fun, mental, and there's nothing else which really could quite compare to it in this world. It's very, very different. 
it's awesome. Thank you, Come here. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Go and see friends and family. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, my hair. Another absolute sweetie. Um, okay, the results are in. You have chosen your winner. Either Ashley or Helen is about to be crowned champion. It's time to talk to the house. is sealed. For the last seven days, the British public have been voting for their winner. I can now reveal the housemate with the most votes and the winner of Big Brother 2014 is... before we close the voting lines it was so close between the two of you 1.2 percent in the votes <laughs> yeah that is it oh my god um everybody in the house thought you would win oh um that's nice our, 
<laughs> How shocked do you think Helen is right now? Oh, she's very shocked, like really shocked. I was like hugging her, I was so happy for her, and she was like collapsing in the middle of it. I was going, oh, stay strong, oh, I'm so proud of her. Did you think her. it might be you when it was just no, a No, I genuinely you? thought it was going to be Helen because she's turned such a leaf over the last 10 weeks. Like she's done so well for herself and I'm so proud of her. We're going to get on to Helen in a minute. It's quite a lot to talk to you about with Helen. <laughs> yeah. um, you were the youngest housemate in there. Lots mm -hmm. of people wanted to remind you of that, but she's only 18, she's only 18. Um, do you think people initially underestimated you because um, of your age? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Yeah. You didn't seem to really care, though, yeah, No, I didn't care. Really care. Um, okay, let's get on to Helen. Okay. Uh, you, you, she was like your nemesis for a lot of the time. There was those yeah. periods when you got yeah, on. Thankfully, the last couple of days, yeah. we, we saw the, the light at the end of the tunnel with the two of you. Uh, but let's take a look at your relationship with her. Oh, God. <laughs> Helen's just a bitch. I've seen her bomb more times than I've seen my own in the past in three weeks. I think Ashley, for an 18-year-old girl, is very boring. I like feel like I've made some sort of evil plan. Fucking hell, is she Cruella the fucking devil? Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch. Oh, oh you get over yourself. She's a massive bitch, but I'm a bitch as well. She's not stupid. She works everyone like a puppet. There's your sexiest toys, mate. <laughs> I wanted an apology for me, not for anybody else. She fucking fucked. Shut up, I mean yeah. that as well. Stupid bitch. Stupid dick. You're the only person she couldn't control out there. I wouldn't even waste my breath. Sure that she's a fucking asshole. We were two bitches about each other. We am. And when you look back on the fact that we have actually had some nice memories, you can put your differences to one side, especially for one night. You were one of very few people to stand up to her. Was that difficult? Oh, yeah, against Helen? <laughs> yeah, it was, but um, we just had a... I think our differences were so big and that they stood out straight away before we realised actually how many similarities we had as well. Um, so I think they just clashed straight mm. away. And as um, as we saw brother. Christopher say in that clip, um, um, she couldn't he felt like she couldn't control you and maybe that's where the problem lay mm -hmm. uh you, we heard that you both like you you're both kind of top dogs in your in your circle of friends at home you know um so do you think that's possibly where the clash came that there were more similarities as you said than than you originally thought and also you didn't ever seem to seek her approval whereas a lot of other housemates really tried mm. to um, yeah, I probably agree. Um, I, th I do think it was the similarity. We had so many similarities. So many differences that, as well. Yeah, but, all but, loads of differences, but we did the few things that would make us clash were just too similar. Yeah. So, um... Well, you both seem very determined. Oh, yeah. You're very, very strong-willed. Yeah. <laughs> very strong-minded. Very independent. <laughs> yeah, very. Um, how do you feel about her now? Um, I'm over the moon for her. I'm really, I'm really, really glad that um, we sorted that out just a few nights ago because as much as like watching the TV, obviously I, I've watched the show for many years and being on there is a completely different environment mm. to actually what you watch. Um, and I know me and Helen would get on fine in the outside world, so I'm glad we sorted it out. Mm. Um, so obviously we were in the final two. How awkward would that have been? <laughs> um, she, uh, she did say in the house that you got away with murder. Do you think you did? Not really. No. <laughs> Do not. The audience is saying no. You went in there. Oh no, I don't think so. People have a lot to say about everything I did. So yeah. I mean, you know, but everybody, there's, there's, but everybody. There's, there's a lot of talk about you know, oh, everyone's bitching behind each other's backs. Well, everybody's doing it. So just kind of get on with it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, let's talk about Chris. Chris, there he is, your best bud Hi. in the house. Um, <laughs> You said that he was your friend, uh, like a father, like a big brother. How important was he to the whole process? Oh, like my main rock through the whole time. Um, I'm so glad he was there right up until the last second. He was there telling me I was wrong, telling me I shouldn't be acting the way I'm acting, telling me I act too spoilt, telling me I'm over dramatic. Um, always bringing me back down to earth. So if it wasn't for him, I don't think it would have lasted. So you feel as like long. he kept you in line? Oh, big time. Kept me in check. So that's it. <laughs> fantastic that you met somebody like uh, that. In yeah. There. Um, I wish we had all night to talk, but I know. we don't. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for being yeah. part of this summer's Big Brother. Here we go. Thanks for having me. Thank you. It's Ashley. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Anybody else feel really sick coming on there? <laughs> How old are you? Hi. I'm 18. You're 18? Yeah. Oh, this is Louis. 
I love dogs. He sleeps with me every single night. People underestimate her because of her age. She's such a mature, lovely girl. I think because of her age, she's going to mourn a hell of a lot. I'm 18, not 12. She used his insecurity, you skinny little prick, skinny little prick. What about you, you ugly looking bitch? Which housemate is the biggest liar? Ashley. Oh, Kimberly has such a problem. Don't trust her. Definitely <gasps> do not trust her. You're gonna bash Christopher's head off and her. Fucking dick. <sighs> Fucking so horrible. I'm just feeling it so hard in this house. I feel like this isn't going very well. If you need me, call me. I really do genuinely like her. I want to be your mate, like, yeah. forever. No. Don't even like me. Fuck. Fuck. I adore Ashley when it reminds me of people in my family. This isn't working for me. Yes! When is this over? Stop! So help me, big brother. Being in the big brother house has been a bit of a roller coaster. I'm sure a lot of people probably say that, but a once in a lifetime experience and a big life lesson. chosen your champion after the break we're going to be meeting helen <laughs> don't go anywhere <laughs> welcome back to big brother the live final so you have chosen Helen as your winner. Are you ready to meet her? It's time to talk to the house for the final time. And 14. You have 30 seconds to prepare yourself. Your public are waiting. Oh, fuck. Congratulations, Helen. Thank you, you are the winner. Please leave the big brother house. Didn't have that. No. 
I don't. When do you think you'd have been out? Um, I'd have probably been out the first or second week. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was. It was a pretty. Uh, it was. It was a pretty turbulent first few weeks. Um, I think it's fair to say that you have been um, one of the most controversial and uh, one of the most explosive housemates <laughs> that we've ever had. Yeah. Um, and just to get serious for a little while, <coughs> okay. let's take a look at you in action. Where? There. <gasps> oh, Bobby, honestly. Get a fucking wash and an airbrush, you fat bitch. I didn't tell you where to go. I said, why the you fuck are you playing? Box. I'm not playing. You fucking skinny cunt. Tell me who I backstab in this house. Tell oh, me. Oh, my God, I'm so Tell bored. me. You fucking twat, you. Fuck off, Helen. Shut up, you fucking you skinny shut little up. prick. No, you no, fucking we... cheeky <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Don't speak to me. Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch side of you. I couldn't give a shit. Because I don't hold you in high regard. I can't be arsed with it. It's fucking so ridiculous. So why are you saying 50 and a half grand then? Because I know that it's over. Bullshit! I just said oh, I feel guilty. I don't say Very things good. unless I mean it. Here's another one. Shut up. I mean yeah. that as well. like and what, what is it like for you watching that back watching your your behavior like that I'm completely over the top um, I'm out of order on many occasions but when I have been arguing with people it's because they have constantly made remarks at me don't know whether it's ever been shown um, yeah I can be aggressive as well but it's when I've been wound up that many times people probe me constantly and sometimes I just take it too far. I always have and um, hopefully we'll stop doing that after seeing that and actually being quite embarrassed as well. Um, I was going to say, you, you, you are the first one to hold your hands up and say, I'm aware of what I'm like, I'm aware that I can be aggressive. And, and, and as difficult as it was to watch you sometimes in the early weeks of the show, there was a point during the middle of it when you seemed to really calm down. Yeah, I did. Um, and it was, it was after you got your formal warnings. Mm. Um, did you calm down because of the formal warnings and you realised you had to behave in a different way? Was it because, you know, all your friends seemed to be leaving at the same time, there was a whole guilt by association? Or was it because you just changed your behaviour because you wanted to win? Had to change. I never thought in a million years I could win. In a million years. Um, I had to change because I think when I walked into the house, I thought it was going to be a lot more simple than what it was. Right. Um, and I realised living with people, I couldn't continue to behave like that. Yeah, I did get the warning, but I knew that I couldn't just carry on the way I was going. And I wanted to be there and make friends, but mm. there were some people in the house that made that impossible. And that's why certain things like that happened. We did, um, we did see... Another change in you, where, where you seem to kind of let rip again. Hold on a second. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. And that is when you uh, were listening to Chris and Ashley in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, I've got to say, they weren't being horrible about you. And, and it did seem that sometimes you would hear the negative, but you weren't actually really listening to what was being said. Yeah, another problem of mine. Is, so, do, do you think that this experience, and I'm really hoping you say yes, um, where, now that you're out and, and in your life after this show, do you think it will make you think maybe more about your Definitely. behaviour and the way you deal with I said that situations. today in my final, in, when I was talking upstairs, um, doing my final speeches in the diary room, that was the one thing that I'm taking away with me more than anything. So how do you <laughs> think you'll change? I can't, I can't speak to people like that, even if they are annoying me and being nasty and saying things just to constantly like get a reaction out of me. I've got to learn to bite my tongue more mm. and not be as crude as what I have been. Um, you and Ashley had a very turbulent relationship. Um, yeah. Why do you think you clashed? We've asked her the same question and she's, she's told um, us what she thinks. I think we're just... She, we're both, we're both strong characters, but I deal with things differently. I swear, well, she swears and stuff. But I Face seem of an to be, angel, mouth of a devil. That yeah, one. I look like the devil. She looks like the angel. She no, also, no, I mean her. <laughs> oh, right. Face of an angel, mouth of a devil. <laughs> you did think that we never saw Ashley at her yeah, verbal that's worst, what I was going but we her. did. Oh. We did see that. I never thought it was ever seen because I just kept. I, I felt like everyone was kind of just having to go at me all the time. Um, but I can't argue with myself. I was arguing for a reason. Mm. Um, OK, let's, let's get on to something a bit happier, cos you have just one big brother, so we can't all be negative. Um, Ash. Ah. Ash. Oh, um, 
You smooched him. He was your best friend. Uh, you seem like quite a guarded person. It seems that it's, you have difficulty getting those barriers down. Yeah. Um, you denied fancying him, but is that because you're protecting yourself? Do you really like him? No, I like him as my best friend, that's all. He's so you're not friend. attracted to that face over yes, there? Oh, of course he's gorgeous, but I love him as my friend and that's it. it. So nothing in the future? No, nothing like that. He's just a really good friend and I would have really struggled without him in the house. Helen? As I said to Ashley, I wish we had much more time, but we just don't. Thank you, Thank you for being one of the biggest talking points of the summer. <laughs> um, Thank you. Here are your best picks and congratulations. Thank you. It's Helen. Helen. Pauline has decided that you should be given a pass to the final. I've never met anyone like this. He is fucking boring. Bore the fuck off! I'll get a kid to dump in his buckle. <laughs> She's really loud. She's really in your face, and I absolutely love it. It's a shame you can't nominate me, in it, Chris? Oh, indeed, indeed. <laughs> this time of night, basically, when Helen's had a drink, it just starts to get a bit dark. Fuck off, then! Big Brother thinks your behaviour is unacceptable. What does that matter? I want to fucking smash someone's fucking head in an ear. She's disgusting. She's vain. I just really want to break down about a lot of stuff. I'm a bitch. There's usually a reason because I've listened to the bullshit for hours and hours or days on it. Which housemate is the most argumentative? It is the house twat, isn't it? It's me. <laughs> I know what tit I can be. She won't get married. Marry her because you could be my bitch. <laughs> I think she's become a little bit, dare I say it, lovable. Ah, oh, what are you doing to me? <laughs> she was absolutely quality. She's a fantastic housemate. You're thinking, thank God to go in. Especially her, the troublesome one. Unforgettable, believe me. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Go and see your friends and family. Oh, shit. Wow, wow, wow. There you go. You have crowned Helen your winner of Big Brother 2014. She's going to be joining, joining Rylan along with the rest of the housemates on Bit on the Side right after this. Now, if you think you've got what it takes to be stood here next year, do you? Go to bigbrotheraudition.com for all of the details. So, that is it for another series. But don't worry, it's only three days before Celebrity Big Brother begins! <laughs> Let me tell you, it's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm going to be here for the live launch on Monday night at 9pm. But before all of that, it has been one heck of a series. We have had incredible highs and almighty lows. But as Ash would say, it's been absolutely fantastic. Let's take a power trip down memory lane. We're going to have the best time ever. Oh, I'm here! Hi! It's quite surreal, isn't it? You're going to fucking love me! Here we go! Fucking love it! <laughs> One of you is about to go on a power trip. Which housemate would you want to pass to the Big Brother final? Helen. I can feel a storm on her. This is where the game begins. I can be a very horrible person. The first housemate I want to nominate is Paul. <gasps> Christopher. Who is it? How does it feel to be in power? Amelia! I feel like I've made some sort of evil plan. He was saved last week, he was saved the week before. It's not fucking rocket science, is it? I'm outnumbered. Get some bloody class. Yeah, you fucking washing an airbrush, you fat bitch. I just feel so bent down. All you do is stare in the mirror, we're bored of it. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. Tell me who I backstab in this house. Why are you getting in my face? Pigeon chested twats. 
Big Brother is issuing you a formal warning. Right, can you calm down a little bit? No, because this is no. going a bit... You skinny little prick. What about you, you ugly looking bitch? Mug. Don't take me. I should fuck off. You should fuck off. Which housemate is the biggest Liar. Ashley. Oh, Kimberly has such a problem. If I get into the end of the sentence with you, Vulture has been the same from day one. Welcome to the Big Brother house. Yay! Yeah! Would do her better if she got some brain cells. I had an evil plan. I'm so glad it came together. Just tasting soup. I've never been around so many people and felt so alone in my life. <laughs> I don't want to spend another week with you. I'll be honest, I do not want to spend another week with someone who do that. No way. I'm fucking sick of everybody in here scrapping and arguing. Huh? Do you want to get married? Yeah. Hello. Only because you know I'm fucking awesome. No, I'd marry you because you could be my bitch. I am fooling for you. Yeah. Do you think you could see me as a husband? Yeah. I want to kill him half the time. Please don't swear to me. I don't fucking swear to you. <laughs> oh, here she goes again. <laughs> I do love you very much. Love you. I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your little piggy. Housemates have passed this week's shopping tour. <laughs> Thank you, don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. Let me get this out first. That was my fucking fish. This is a wonderful place. That's really forward. Get in! I was underestimating your power, Big Brother. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an adult movie. People are going crazy in this house. Let's get mortal. This is the most humiliating thing I've been ever met today. <laughs> bunch they've been. So I will see you back here on Monday live at 9pm for Celebrity Big Brother and believe me, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be brilliant. Have a wonderful evening. But please now welcome back your winner, Helen. Yeah.